Hello there, good to see you. Well, I'm just getting ready for a brand new series of Art Attack, which starts in January. But with Christmas being just around the corner, I thought I'd pop in with some brilliant Art Attack ideas for you for Christmas. So welcome to my Art Attack Christmas Cracker. <laughs> Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without a Christmas tree in your bedroom. Come and have a look at this. Now, to make a homemade Christmas tree, you need to cut two big sheets of card from a cardboard box. Now, you can make this as big as you like or as small as you like. I'm going to do a big one. Draw a vertical line down the middle of each sheet of card and then simply draw a Christmas tree shape onto each piece of card. Now, you just have to keep it really simple because this is just going to be the sort of skeleton, if you like, of your Christmas tree. I'm just drawing a big triangular shape like this onto both sheets of card, and then don't forget your pot. Now, a couple of little tips here. You must make that vertical line go right down the middle of your tree and down the middle of your pot, and also make sure the bottom of your pot is straight, so you can use a ruler for that. And then mark the halfway point up your Christmas tree, like that, I'm just guessing, but you should measure it, because it does have to be accurate. And do the same on your other one. Draw that onto your piece of card and mark the halfway point like that. And then cut yourself a strip of card with a straight edge. Now watch this, this is very important. Place your strip of card on its side, going up the vertical line on one of your trees, and go up to that middle point. So that's up to the middle point on one, and draw a slot like that, the width of the card. And then on your other one, draw that slot so that it goes down from the top of your tree to that middle point. So again, you've got another slot, but this time from the top of the tree to the middle. So it's one from the top and one from the bottom. So you have something that looks like that. Then cut both trees out, including the slots, and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Look at that. Two trees, two slots, one top and one bottom. And then paint your pot. Now. If you paint your pot in a nice bright red colour, like this, you can use poster paint or acrylic paint, it gives it a real good Christmassy feel. And do that on both sides of each tree. And then, little trick here, if you just paint on with PVA glue some little star shapes all over your pot, I'm just going to do it really quickly here to show you. And you don't have to do a neat star, it can just be a series of crosses like that. And I bet you know what I'm going to do now. Yes, just get a pinch of glitter, sprinkle it onto the glue like that, and then just shake off the excess like this, and watch this. Voila! You've got a star. Do that all over your pots, and you'll have stars all over your pots. Looking like that. Look at that. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? And then just simply slot the two trees together, like that. And there you have, well, it's a sort of skeleton Christmas tree, isn't it? It's a slot Christmas tree. And now to fatten it up. Very easy to do this. Scrunch up a sheet of newspaper into a ball. Take some sticky tape, attach it to your paper ball. And now this is what I call Christmas stuffing. You stuff it onto your tree. There you go, nice paper ball there. Stuff it right in to the corner, like that. And then take some more newspaper, make some more balls, put some tape on, and stuff them in. And it's just a case of building up the shape of your tree by stuffing in some scrap newspaper and taping it into place. And when it's finished, you'll have something that looks like this. Look at that, a nice, fatly stuffed Christmas tree. And you've got a lovely Christmas tree shape there. And I've even put some extra sticky tape on just to hold it all into place. And now to put on the leaves or the green colour, take a pack of crepe paper or tissue paper that's green. Now I'm using crepe paper because it's cheaper. And just lightly crunch it this time, not into a ball. And then take some PVA glue, just the ordinary white school glue you get in the squidgy bottles. And then just 
dab some onto the bottom of your tree, like that. It's best to start at the bottom rim here and just dab it into place and then stick on your crepe paper. And just, again, apply a bit of Christmas stuffing there. And there it is. And look at that. It just hangs like a leaf in place. Cover the whole of your tree in the same way. And when it's finished, look at this. You'll have your own homemade Christmas tree. Look at that. And there they are. All your leaves beautifully stuffed into place. And you've got this fantastic shape with your pot at the bottom. And now to decorate it. The difficult bit. Take a metre of sticky tape. And I get really annoyed when I do this. Watch this. Try and fold your tape over into a loop and then just scrunch it into a loose ball. And it's not easy. Sometimes get into a right tangle. <laughs> and then just pinch a bit of the sticky part of your ball of tape. And then stick it into some glitter. Just dip it into the glitter. Holding on to a sticky bit. And then pull out the glitter, shake off the excess, and then just attach it to your tree using the sticky bit that you've been holding on to. There it is. You just literally stuff it on again. And you can make loads of different shapes, loads of different colours. Look at that. I'm going to use red glitter there, because I like using red and gold just to match my base. And again, another one on there. And you can put as many as you like on your tree, and when you've decorated the whole of your tree, you'll have something that looks like this. Look at that. Gold and red glitter balls decorating the tree. Brilliant, isn't it? Try it yourself, a homemade Christmas tree for your own bedroom. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, I love Christmas. Hello, it's me again, the head. So, that's cardboard to slot together, red paint, PVA glue and glitter! Loads of scrunched up newspaper and green crepe paper. For the decorations, it's just sticky tape and glitter! Hey! <laughs> I've done one of those. Only I didn't have any cardboard! Hey! <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Right, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna show you how I do an art attack big picture. So, what you need is a mini coach and you need loads of people called a production team. Morning. Yeah. And of course you need a sound man. There he is with a funny hat on. Most important of all, you need some aeroplane tickets. So come on. Oh, and also you need a cameraman. Come on, Nige. Uh, whoa. Here you go, mate. Come on. But this is no ordinary art attack big picture. I'm going to attempt a world record. Now, to do it, I need a very important art material. Snow. There's none in our country at the moment, so off we go to the snow. Have you got your passports? Yeah. Yeah. Good. And so, check in at the airport and all aboard flight CO35 to Denver, Colorado. Now, at this point in time, gentlemen, do we have an update on the weather from Colorado? We haven't received anything since we left London, but it was snowing when we left. It was supposed to be clearing and be scattered clouds and very cold when we arrived. Now, because hopefully we're going to be doing this picture in the snow, I've got to get it right first time, because I don't want it to be messed up on slushy snow. So I've got to do some sketches so I can work out what the picture's going to look like. But hopefully, it looks something like this. Father Christmas in the snow. Only on a bigger scale. Don't forget, we're going for the world record. So fingers crossed, see you down there in Colorado a little later on. I was out shopping the other day for some Christmas presents and I couldn't believe the price of Christmas wrapping up paper. <laughs> so I've made my own. Try this. Take a black bin liner and just cut the bottom off it and then carefully insert your scissors along the edge and cut the side open. And when you open it out, you have a rather large sheet 
of shiny Christmas wrapping up paper. And then you can, of course, cut it to any size you want, depending on what size your presents are. Now, just take a look at that. I know what you're thinking. It's a little bit dull for Christmas, so you can brighten it up, decorate it yourself using acrylic paint. Now, you can use ordinary poster paint, but you will have to mix it with a bit of PVA glue to make it stick to the bin liner. And just take a stiff brush, or you can use an old toothbrush, dip it into your paint, and then using the spatter technique, take an old piece of cardboard and just flick little blobs of paint onto your bin liner. And look at that. I always think this should call, be called the splatter technique. There it is. And just cover the whole of your bin liner in these little blobs like that. And you can use different colours. I like using red and green. Good Christmassy colours, red and green. In fact, it's everywhere, isn't it, really? And there we are, flicking more paint on, more acrylic paint. And when the acrylic paint dries, it sticks to the bin liner. In fact, it's brilliant acrylic paint. It'll stick to almost anything. And the idea is to cover the whole of your bin liner in a nice thick layer of paint, blobs everywhere. And when it's finished, it should look something like that. Look at that. And I think that's a brilliant sheet of Christmas wrapping up paper. And what does it look like on the present? Look at that. I think that looks brilliant. And here's one I've done in gold and silver paint. Look at that. That's fabulous. That's really classy, isn't it? And if you haven't got any paint, try this. A coloured plastic bag. And again, you can cut it to any shape for your Prezi, any shape you like. And what does it look like on the present? Well, I think that looks very posh and shiny. It looks very expensive, doesn't it? Especially when you finish it off with four pedal bin liners, just these flimsy white ones. Just tear them off a roll. Now, obviously, ask if you can take these before you actually tear them off. And just take about four of them, three or four should do it, and just wrap them around your present like that. Put the present in the middle and just scrunch the whole thing together, bend it one way, like that, and then round the back. And then just tie a bow on the top, and pull the ends of your bow out to fluff it up a little bit. And look at that. I think that looks fantastic. Of course, the big test is, what do they look like under the tree? Well, there's loads of different colour plastic bags, different types, different sizes, and different shapes, and you can turn them all into your own Christmas wrapping up paper. Try it yourself, some very expensive looking homemade Christmas wrapping up paper. Ah. Uh... Blue skies, snow-covered mountains, what could be better? It looks just like the scene from a Christmas card. This could be it. Well, here we are, Breckenridge, Colorado, USA. Welcome to good old America. Well, the flight took about 10 hours. We arrived in Denver last night, and it took us about three and a half, four hours to get here. But it was worth it, because look at this. Snow, glorious snow, it's everywhere. I think that field's going to be perfect for an art attack big picture. This is brilliant. But you know, the one thing I've got to watch out for, that my footprints don't spoil the picture. Breckenridge was once an old gold mine in cowboy town, but now they've discovered a different type of riches. White gold, snow. Every year, millions of skiers flock to these beautiful powder-covered slopes. <laughs> you never know who you may bump into. Now, Breckenridge is in the heart of the Rocky Mountains, and even today, it retains the charm of the Wild West. I'm here during the Thanksgiving weekend, where all kinds of celebrations and activities take place, like this balloon festival. There's also many street parties, but we're here to work. First, we have to build a wooden roadway to park the crane on. We have to lay it right up to the edge of this field, where I'll be doing my big picture. And then, on comes the crane. Now, a crane is a vital part of one of my big pictures. We put a camera on the crane to give you a bird's eye view of the picture. So, just time for some last minute checks on the details of my picture. All ready? 
And then, up goes the cameraman, up goes the camera, up goes the crane. We're just about ready. Are you fed up with seeing the same old Christmas cards in the shops? Then send someone a surprise Christmas card. And what's in it? It's a surprise. Just take a piece of thin card or thick paper and cut it so that its length is three times its width and then divide it into three equal sections and draw lines across it like that and then score across the lines. Now the best way to score is to take a pair of scissors, keep them closed and then tape them closed like that just for safety. Put some sticky tape around them, keep them firmly closed and then take a ruler, lay it on your line like that and then just score down the line along the ruler's edge, just pressing firmly into your card. And do the other one in exactly the same way, like that. And your scissors are safely taped closed. And then put them to one side and fold this section into the middle, like that. Fold it into place. And then this section into the middle as well. And just press that into place so that you have those two sections folded on top of each other and then you need to divide those sections in half now you can measure it accurately I'm just gonna guess it here it does have to be accurate and draw a line down the middle of each of those sections like that or down the middle of each of those flaps it is really isn't it and then score down those lines again with the scissors just pressing firmly into the card and holding your ruler in position like that. It just makes folding so much easier. And then fold these two flaps back on themselves there like that and then this one in exactly the same way like that. So you end up with something that looks like that. Look at that, those two flaps folded back on themselves and you have that funny shape then. And the idea is to draw your Christmas design across those two flaps. Now, as this is the Art Attack Christmas Cracker, I'm going to draw a Christmas Cracker. And you can do it very roughly in pencil to start with and you can make your alterations and corrections in pen. I'm just doing it very rough because we are going to paint it up in a minute. I'm just drawing a rough cracker shape and just make sure that the shape is the same, or your design is the same, on either side. And just put a couple of lines in there and bands around the cracker. And then you can paint it using poster paint or acrylic paint. I've just got some ordinary poster paint here, ready mix poster paint, and just slopping it on here to show you. And again, you can do it more neatly. Just put the red bits on the frills, bits that you pull the cracker. And do the whole thing, decorate your whole cracker and neaten it up, and then cut this section out and this section and this section and this section and when you've cut those four sections out and you've decorated it on the front it looks something like that and look at that i've painted that cracker up nice and neatly and i've gone around the edges in black permanent marker and i've even put some gold snowflakes on this back bit just to neaten it up and make it look nice and fancy for christmas and then open it out like that and continue your Christmas design in the middle. So there's a bit more of my cracker and that's where it's snapped, where it's been broken and again there like that and then do a nice big explosion for my cracker there like that and then again here. And I'm doing the whole thing in pencil as you notice just so I can alter it if I make a mistake. And then just write your Christmas message in there. Have a Cracking, get the joke, Christmas. And again, just doing it in rough because I'm going to paint it and decorate the whole thing. And when you've decorated it and done it all neatly, you'll have something that looks like this on the outside and again with the poster paint on the inside. Look at that, have a cracking Christmas. So when you send it to someone, they open it like that and they get the surprise of their life. And there's loads of different Christmas designs you could try. How about something like this? Look at that. Little Christmas angel singing away. And you open it up. And there's the whole choir in there saying Happy Christmas. Well, what about this? This is my favourite, this one. Look at this. You've got Rudolph there. Again, it's the same on either side. And you pull his antlers. 
and there's all those lovely prezzies inside. Merry Christmas. Try it yourself and send someone a surprise Christmas card. Now, the most important thing to get right is the folds. Divide your card in three, then fold those flaps in half. When you've drawn it and painted it, give it to someone really special, like your mum. It's a cracking crazy smacker of a snappy Christmas cracker! <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Colorado, let's go for a world record. OK. Ready and action. <laughs> Oh, that snow works brilliantly, doesn't it? Let's see it. If it starts to melt, I'll have to take it off, though. Yeah, yeah, I've finished it. Yeah? We've done it, it's the world record! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Hang on. Yeah! We haven't finished yet. What we need is a Christmas clown. And here I am. it. A few Christmassy ideas for you. Try them yourself and I'll see you in January for a brand new series of Art Attack. But until then, have a crack of Christmas. Ta-ra! Yeah.